I freed a thousand slaves. And I could have freed a thousand more if they only knew they were slaves. As I've come up through the pages of history into today's time, I can see the condition of my people done got worse. No slave can lead a country to freedom. No slave can rule a nation as head. Neither the offspring of slaves. They all will fail. If you don't know freedom, how can you direct one to freedom? If you were born under colonial masters, if you were subjected to imperialism, fascism, racism, white supremacy, colorism, and all manner of ill treatment, you can't see clearly. So to separate yourselves from mental slavery, you have to free your mind. And the only way you can free your mind is through righteousness. A righteous that is a righteousness as it, that is unlike the very unrighteousness that we have continue that we continue to experience. It is an ugly thing to see that we have reached a point wherein we can't even build a house on the land. We don't have to notify anybody. All our forefathers participate in the great rebellion against the British monarch, the Union Jack. Yeah man, the same duppy we used to write people. Because they have greatly distressed our people to a point that they were highly oppressed. They were all capitalists and they have pro profited from our sweat, our blood, and our tears. They are the great beneficiaries of our suffering. To this day, we have not truly understood what reparation means. I see Cliff Hughes from Nationwide wants to paint the picture of receiving payments as reparations. If those monies was to be paid out by King Charles, none of us here in Jamaica would get any. It would go all in the pockets of the politician and the private sector and all their friends. When do we reach to a point where we are considered to be squatters? This land does not belong to no Jamaican. The land Jamaica does not belong to the British monarch. It belongs to who we call the Arawaks, the Tainos, the Index, the Aztecs, the Mayans. Those are the true inheritors for this land. If you look at the globe itself, there are three major parts. You have the western part that goes up to northern America and southern America. Right In the middle section, you have Africa, and you have Australia go down there, so and go straight up to the top, we have Iceland and place there. And if you go to the far east, you have a place like um, Asia going up, and going straight down, you have the regions of India, etc., etc. So the world was parted into three pieces. Three. Right? And the races stayed within their lands until the plunderers and so-called explorers decided that they are going to invade every nation upon the face of the earth under the name Vikings those are the same persons that our forefathers before you know civilization 
was considered a proper way of living helped because the Moors invaded Spain and made it a civilized nation. Europe also, Greece, Rome, a lot of countries, the Moors entered those lands centuries ago before they were considered to, to do actually right or to build houses or how to carve a stone. So we know who were the builders. We never refused none of the stones. So there is no cornerstone that should become our head. What has happened is that we have given ourselves the idea and ideas to believe that we are inferior to a point that you need politicians to be your guide. You have to wake up out of that belief system. No politician will help. They are all lodge members. They are all Freemasons. They are all under oaths. And they cannot break these oaths to save you and I. They won't. Because Satan is their leader. The father of lies will not give them permission to rescue you and I. You have to make war with the kingdom of darkness in order to have light within your domain. You cannot friend them or choose them to be your friend. Darkness and light have no dealings nor company. And it's a very sad state to see. People still believe that JLP and PMP are wheresoever in the world, they can get help. But Marcus Garvey wisely stated, any leadership that teaches you to depend upon another race, upon another race, is a leadership that will enslave you. I am just giving the country around eight years to nine years before Asians, Syrians, they start go into the House of Parliament and get seats as MPs, as councillors. Yeah man, just go on watch man. You see those new roads from Ocherius go straight back up to Kingston. You see those so-called wastelands unoccupied that go straight into money, go straight up. Yeah man, you're going to see skyscrapers and all manner of Chinese communities on those hills. Remember you hear it on Chop Chop Pre TV first. Just remember that. Watch my words come to pass. I will always be here on YouTube to open the light for you. Because prophetically speaking it into being, you can't stop it. Because you know what? You refuse to stop your own from oppressing you. You refuse to stop supporting tyrants who disguise themselves as politicians. You refuse to stop supporting lodge members, Freemasons who disguise themselves as councillors, as members of parliament. These men are all under oaths. There is no help coming our way. Only we can help ourselves. We have to come together.